welcome back to Gypsy Rose Yoga. So today's class is going to be our Freedom Yoga Glow. And it's going to be a preview class to an upcoming course that I'm going to be offering. Uh, I am so excited to share this with y'all. It has been a long time coming. Uh, this is going to be a step-by-step -step personalized course for each individual to help discover our true path, purpose, and passion through the techniques of yoga, meditation, and a ton of other health and wellness strategies that I have learned through my certifications and through the process of my own along the way. So if you like today's class, feel free to subscribe, share, comment, spread the love. I will leave the links to my Facebook and my website in the description box below. So we're going to go ahead and get started in Sukhasana or Easy Seated Pose. I suggest if you are wanting to feel a little bit more energized for this practice today, placing your hands on your knees in an upward facing position. And if you're wanting to feel more of a calming effect, then place your hands on your knees in a downward facing position. From here, we're just gonna take a couple deep breaths, noticing the natural rhythm to our inhales and our exhales. Beginning to notice the space around us. Becoming consciously aware that our soul is not something that is just within our body, but our body is actually something that is within our soul. And we have the power to transform our energy. So letting go of any negative limiting beliefs that we may have and really connecting to our inner wisdom, knowing that we have the power to create how we feel. From here, we're just gonna do a couple of gentle neck rolls. So just drop one ear to the shoulder and start to find that circular motion. After a couple of rounds, switching sides. And then with your next inhale, place your hands on your knees and just begin to open that chest up forward. Rounding the spine with your exhale. We're going to do a couple more like this. So pulling the shoulders back, opening the chest. Take a nice big inhale here. Exhaling, leaning back, rounding out the spine. Inhale, slowly start to look up, open your chest, shine your heart forward. And then exhale, rounding out the spine. Coming back to center, place your left hand on the mat out next to you, and then take your right arm and extend it out overhead. Slowly begin to lean towards the left side, stretching out the right side body. And then come back to center placing your right hand on the mat next to you and then extending your left arm, slowly start to lean over towards the right. Breathing into the left side body here. And then coming back to center. From here, we're just gonna to start to slowly walk our arms out in front of us. Placing the crown of our head on the mat or just coming as far as you can without feeling any discomfort in your body. Trying to keep your hips grounded. And then come back to center. Now from here, I'm gonna meet you in tabletop position. And this is gonna be a little bit wider version of tabletop. So bring your knees a little bit farther than hips length apart and then place your uh, wrist out underneath your shoulders in front of you. From here, we're gonna do a couple of barrel rolls 
And barrel rolls are very similar to cat cow, but they have more of a circular motion to them. So with your next inhale, begin to drop your navel down towards the mat, and then just slowly start to find that circular motion, stretching out the right side or right and left body. And then with your exhales, rounding out the spine at the top, and then just begin to switch sides. Dropping your navel, inhaling when you get to the bottom, and exhaling when you get to the top. Now from here, we're going to walk our arms about a couple inches out in front of us. And I really want you to practice on moving with your breath and your movement. So with your next inhale, round the spine forward, and then exhaling, engaging the core, pulling the hips up and back, dropping the chest down towards the mat for extended puppy. Find that fluidity with your breath and your movement here. Inhaling forward, and then exhaling, engaging the core, pulling the hips back, extended puppy. And do this a couple more times. Practice moving with your breath. Just doing whatever feels good in your body. And from here, we are going to pull our hips up and back for our first downward facing dog. Now, if your hamstrings are a little tight here, then feel free to bend your knees as generously as possible, but just focus on having your upper body in a straight line here. So pedal out the legs a couple times if you need to, releasing any tension in the hamstrings. And then you're going to look forward in between your hands, slightly bend your knees, and step or hop to the front of the mat. Just feel free to grab your elbows and just sway your body side to side here, releasing any tension in your neck and your lower back. Focusing on moving with your breath. And then from here, we're going to inhale, root to rise. And then exhale, bringing your hands to heart center. We are going to do a couple of rounds of Sari Namaskar A, or Sun Salutation. And the first one is going to be kind of a basic flow. And the second one, we're going to be adding in some fun sequences. So go ahead and inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing your hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhaling, Uttanasana or forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana. And from here, place your hands on the mat directly out in front of you and either step or hop to your plank position. With your next inhale, slowly begin to lower down towards the mat, untucking your feet, and inhale to your upward facing dog. Exhale, point your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look in between the center of your hands, Slightly bend your knees and step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, half back. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, raise your arms up overhead and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half back. Exhale, Uttanasana. Place your hands on the mat in front of you and step or hop to plank position. 
Exhale, slowly lower down towards the mat for your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now from here, raise your right leg up high towards the sky with your inhale. And then with your exhale, slightly bend the knee and open the hips. Bringing that right foot back down towards the mat. With your next inhale, raise your left leg up high. Exhale, bending the knee, opening up the hips. Bringing that left foot back down towards the mat. With your next inhale, inhale your right leg up high. Exhale, bringing it all the way through, placing it in between your hands. Now from here, we're going to do a little bit of a flow. So with your inhale, raise your arm directly out in front of you. And then with your exhale, swing that arm directly out behind you for revolve skandasana. And just find that movement with your breath here. Inhaling, reaching your arm out in front of you. Exhaling, dropping that hip down towards the mat, revolve skandasana. We're going to do this a couple more times, moving with our breath. Swing that arm back behind us, dropping our hips. And then with your next inhale, swing it all the way back around, down towards the mat, and step back to your downward facing dog. With your next inhale, raise your left leg up high towards the sky. Exhale, bringing it all the way through, placing it in between your hands. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side here. So inhaling, bringing your right or left arm, I'm sorry, out in front of you. And then exhaling it, swinging it all the way back around, back behind you, and dropping that hip down towards the mat. Flowing with your breath. Inhaling, raising that leg up off the mat. And then exhaling, bringing it back down. One more time. And with your next inhale, swing that arm all the way back down towards the mat. And then step that left foot back to downward facing dog. Taking a couple of breaths here. Cutting out the legs again if you need to. And then we're going to bring our knees down towards the mat for tabletop. And we're just going to flip over and I'm going to meet you in our seated pose. Extending the legs directly out in front of you. With your next inhale, raise your arms up high towards the sky. And then with our exhale, we're going to slowly start to lower our chest down towards our legs. Coming down as far as we can without feeling any discomfort in the body. You are welcome to flex your feet or point your toes, whatever is most comfortable for you. We're just going to take a couple relaxing breaths here. Getting a good stretch in our hamstrings. And then we're going to exhale back to center. With your next inhale, take your right hand and place it on your left knee. And then take your left hand and place it behind you. And we're going to do a gentle twist towards the left side here. Maybe sinking a little bit deeper into the twist with your exhales. Twisting is actually a really great way to improve circulation to all your vital organs. And then come back to center. Taking your left hand, placing it on your right knee, and then taking your right hand, placing it behind you, gently twist towards the right side here. Coming back to center, 
We're going to slowly start to lower back down towards the mat, placing our arms out in front of us, really engaging the core. Lean back as slow as we can until we meet the mat. And from here, we're going to inhale our knees up towards our chest, maybe rolling out the lower back and the spine. If you feel like you need to take any extra movements, please feel free to. This practice is all about finding the rhythm with our breath and our movement and doing what's best for our bodies, doing what feels good. So from here, you're going to extend your right leg out in front of you. And then you're gonna take your right hand and place it on your knee and then just slowly begin to bring it all the way across your body till it meets the mat. And extending your left hand out next to you, slowly begin to look over towards the left side here. Really trying to keep those shoulders grounded towards the mat. Finding that twist in our torso area. Inhaling back to center and then extend your left leg and draw your right leg up towards your chest. Taking your left hand, placing it on your knee, slowly start to draw your knee all the way up towards the other side of your body. And then extend your right arm out next to you and look towards the right. Breathing into this twist. Trying to keep our shoulder blades grounded. And then exhale back to center. And from here, I'm going to meet you in Shavasana. You are welcome to take whatever variation that you would like to. Maybe you find the butterfly version here, dropping your knees out towards each side. Or maybe you just have your legs directly out in front of you. Placing your hands next to you on the mat. Just slowly start to fall into your body. Falling into this present moment. Thanking ourselves for showing up on our mat today. Raising our frequency with the feeling of gratitude and love for ourselves. Knowing that we consciously create our reality and how we feel. Finding this moment of clarity and stillness. And knowing that we can carry this moment with us throughout our day. And whenever you are ready, roll to one side and I will meet you back in Sukhasana. You are welcome to practice this sequence as many times as you would like. And you are welcome to add in however many movements that you would like just to make sure that your body feels good before your end of the practice today. So we are going to conclude here until next time. Namaste.